Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor. welcome to the channel. It's a very exciting time to be a gamer because it is E3, especially if you're an Xbox and a Bethesda fan. We have the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I'm going to watch it, give you guys my thoughts, real quick predictions before I turn this on because I can't wait to see what they're going to reveal. We're going to get a lot from Halo Infinite, we're going to get a multiplayer, maybe a beta announcement, we're going to get the first gameplay, hopefully for Starfield. We're going to get some big announcements for Game Pass, maybe an Ubisoft partnership, kind of like EA Play on, on Game Pass, maybe we'll get Battlefield 2042 launching day one into Game Pass and lots lots more here we go this is so exciting it's like christmas morning for gamers seriously this is the most important uh conference for xbox i feel like there's so much riding on this with all their services and everything they've been really on an upward climb for the past year or so especially with these next gen systems we're really seeing um their full vision you know of course with phil spencer really getting on board We've seen a big turnaround from 2013 with the launch of Xbox One, and I'm so here for this, guys. Here we go. We're getting into it. Let's see what they have to talk about today. That's 20 stage. years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. Tired and like you, right this the bat. is a moment I always look forward to. I love uh, seeing the new games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Xbox is turning 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us. Through art and technology, there's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own. We've traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, of Fallout, and now, mm -hmm. for the first time Let's go. in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe. Yeah. With Starfield. Woo! Set hundreds of years in our future, it's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. Hmm. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. Let's go. We're excited to finally share yes. our first in-game teaser huh. and something to look forward to. Here we go, Starfield. Alpha in game, okay. Creation engine. I thought they would start with Halo for sure. This is interesting. Graphics look nice and crisp. Let's see, legit are an astronaut, okay. They say the wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast. Guns? But that we have measured it. You're part of constellation now. Part of our family. What you found, it's the key to unlocking. There's so much in here. We reach your constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Jonathan Ralph looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Oh, look at that map. Graviton loop array is full. Check. Your space is clear. That's why we're here. Whoa. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Did I just give the release date? 
there? 11, 11, 22? Wow. Right, was that the release date? Game Pass up. Oh, no PlayStation. There you go. That's our exclusive Xbox. Oh, they put it right there. Okay, so next year. All right, I'll give them that. They came out with the day one release on Game Pass, of course. And we have a release date already. It is awesome to share with you for the very wow, first time one of the most it, anticipated man. games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking game. And yes, it's exclusive. <laughs> Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda game you didn't pay showcase. seven point whatever I billion so dollars for a PlayStation to today game as well. Celebrating you know? games. Multiplayer. Because although it's been an incredibly tough year, I am grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed to forging the next era of gaming, conjuring worlds never before possible, unlocking play across all devices, and delivering the power of games to everyone. And now we get to share that quest with Bethesda, not just as partners, but as one team, united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere. So today, we get to reveal more of what's to come. We have an amazing show, 30 titles, 27 mm. in Xbox Game Pass. And of course, mm. every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series X and S offering next-gen performance, speed, and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next is something truly riveting, the latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker 2, oh. coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. This will be a true next-gen experience, targeting 4K resolution and ray tracing. Nice. Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when it launches next year. All right, so, so far both games have been for next year. Ну, чего там? Готово. <смех> ну и пошли они нахрен. <смех> Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом. Oh, wow, like I get Вот поэтому я ни в какие разборки и не лезу. Не хочу пулю поймать. Ну не знаю. Между аномалией и маслиной я уже лучше пулю выберу. Is okay. Yeah, this this looks next gen, man. That explosion was nuts. The particle effects, it's really good. I've never played Stalker, but man, I'm definitely gonna try this out. This looks so trippy. I don't know if that's the right word. Ты говоришь, а я прям вижу красоту эту. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Тише, тише. Слышал? Вот это культура. 
А ты одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Сам же просишь. У меня музучилище, если что. О, месье, прошу прощения. Может, вам к ученым? Профессура. Они вам лабораторию найдут. That is atmospheric as heck, man. This could be a little horrific from the looks of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, man. Да пошел ты. Зря ты так с друзьями. Ты же его на вылазки таскаешь. Чего-чего. А дружбы в зоне я точно не встречал. Это верно. Он мучился? Нет. Это хорошо. No going on, Он этого не заслужил. Откуда the... заслужил? Жаль, что well, ты yeah. так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь. Посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Зона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать. That weaponry. Wow. The lightning effects. This is one of the best looking kids I've seen in a long time. The fire too. Look at that. Похоже пора. И куда ты теперь? В Привять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачные охоты, Сталкер. All right. Okay. There you go. An April, April game. Very good, very good. I would like to see some... Gameplay kind of reveal of oh. oh, are they announcing Game Pass for Back for Blood right now? Is that actually gonna happen? We're surviving here. Rebuilding. Because I heard it's a rumor. Five is not enough. We've got to fight. This is basically the no, Left 4 Dead sequel, anything. but not really. Alright, when was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? All of my best friends. This, this just looks like a lot of fun. I mean, Left 4 Dead developers, ex Left 4 Dead developers are working on this. No rest for the wicked. Looks like a like a fun Friday night for sure. Look at the number of zombies. There's so many of them. God, I love Mondays. Another day in paradise. Look at that grenade, blood everywhere. That looks like a great night. Play with some friends. Okay. Yeah, I would not play this game solo. This is, this is a made for. Okay. TVB. Interesting. Yeah. That could be a good time. Buckle up, buttercups. We got one shot. Let's make it count. Over here. This thing is huge. Game pass. What? Oh, that's huge for Xbox, man. We got Outriders. We got MLB the Show. They're teaming up with Warner Brothers to give you a day one release of Back for Blood. You know I'm playing that. Huge, huge. Okay, what is this? Something in the 70s? Oh, Avalanche? Partnership? Okay. 
Okay, this is a new game here, I think. Open World Co-op, I'm digging that. All right. Is this Just just Cause or something? Because that's the developer of Just Cause. Contraband. Game Pass, whatever that is. Day one with Game Pass, whatever contraband is. Okay. I like the pacing. It's just game after game after game, which is what they need. See thieves. That's the shirt I'm wearing right now. Let's go. <laughs> well, they announced something big today. The new location. Obviously, that's not in the game right now. The game I constantly go back to whenever there's a new update. An ill wind blows from beyond the horizon. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the sea of the damned. Now to save the pirate life, you must start by saving the life of one. Oh, didn't realize we had company. Are you kidding me? Captain Jack Sparrow. What? Yo! But I suspect you already knew that. That's insane! They're... What? No way! It's so cool, because dude! Because of the treasure Jack stole, a darkness followed him here. And if it's Our not stopped, this the world Caribbean. will sink into shadow. This sea holds many secrets. I had no idea that ah, was coming. Body at last. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves, <gasps> it's nothing but curse crews, bloodthirsty mermaids. What? A legion of dead, angry pirates. Oh yes. And now one Davy Jones. Oh my gosh, no! What? At all? Oh shit! Well, I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. Yes! This is freaking awesome! A world without the attack of our best! Oh my gosh, yo! It's a world that refuses to face the truth! This has got to be the biggest update! Destroy that! This is looking incredible! Is this single player? What is this? By chance, there's a second one of those. <laughs> this looks fantastic. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. What? Wait, is what is this? Tell us more! Oh my gosh, it's coming free June 22nd! Wait, that's like next week! That's like next Tuesday this is coming! Hey, how's yes. it going? I want to play this and I can play it on Game Pass! Yes! Let's do this! I'm gonna be busy as heck this summer, man. Everything. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. Time to call a friend! What? Order! What the? Happy birthday! <laughs> this looks so fun. 
I've never played a Yakuza game before, and hopefully I don't have to play any of them to really understand what the act is going on, this looks like a good time. Oh, right now I can just go download it. But there you go. It's as easy as that. Incoming uh, this is, this is the... The thing we've been waiting for, is this going to be a day one Game Pass release? The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. Oh my gosh, look at all these vehicles. You got one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting like five vehicles right back, there. But not far enough. Not so 164 players on each side. Oh my gosh, look at this carnage, man. What the heck? This looks like a good time. Oh, crap, boy hook. Look at how high up they are. This is so crazy. So they have four people in a squad, it looks like. They're all different kind of vehicles. This might be the best uh, Xbox showcase yet. We're only like, what, 10 minutes in? Maybe 15 minutes in? I'm already saying that. We haven't even seen Halo yet, guys. This is hype. They're giving us what we need, the games. This is just... Oh, I'm totally playing this. Oh, the Levolution, here we go! I love how you can just swap out your gear on the fly, that is so cool, yo! What? Oh, come on. No, he did. Did he just do that? That was so epic. Oh, man. It really is like Christmas morning watching these awesome games just one after the other. Unwrapping the presents under the Christmas tree. What? what? Oh, no. Yo. What the actual hell is happening in this game? It's pulling the vehicles for it! Oh my god! Oh my gosh. This is something else. Interesting. So they didn't put it on Game Pass, which was the huge rumor. Okay. Well, at least we got back for blood. <laughs> at so, least we got back for blood. Oh, uh, you know. I have something to share. What is this, my birthday? We're having a baby. Police, you're under arrest for your father's murder eight years ago. What's going on? Shut up! You know what this is. You've been lying me all this time? I should never have told you. I'm out of patience. <laughs> uh, uh, what? I know I say this a lot, but I love you. I say this a lot too. Oh, it but finally has a release you. date. It's coming out in August. Oh, there we go, everybody. I'll be playing that one. It looks like a really cool, smaller kind of experience of a game, but it's got a huge cast. It's nuts. Approaching the mother There we go. Psychonauts 2. Give Psycho us a darn release date. Look at all these gadgets. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. Oh, this looks fantastic. I love the first game. One of the best underrated platforms around. Time man. for justice! Ooh. The fate of the free-thinking world is in your hands. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll <laughs> with it. Oh, man. <laughs> Tim Schafer is a madman, but he knows how to make a good video game. This is a mission about the fate of the 
world. Can you do that? Yes, if I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. <laughs> They're also very weird, as you can see. Oh, August 25th, okay. Thought it could be a shadow release today, but hey, you know, at least it's coming to summer, so that's the next big game on my list, uh, releasing. Alright, Bethesda, let's see. This is Indiana usually Jones? the moment when I say hello, and welcome to the Bethesda E3 Showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year, and whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. Ooh. That includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Maternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Nice. Powered Ooh, by id Tech, nice. this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. And on Series X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Ooh. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks its 10th anniversary this November. We can't celebrate it without you, so share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, and more on Skyrim10.com. Or explore an ever-changing post-apocalyptic wasteland in Fallout 76. Everything you love about Fallout games, custom camp building, rich storylines, warring factions, unique characters, places to discover, you'll find it all here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. All right. Brotherhood of Steel are the guardians of human civilization. <laughs> Fort Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. The super mutant threat takes priority. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. You are splitting our forces, Shin. The most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. So it comes to this. Whoa. That war machine? What I is thought it? you understood what that insignia meant. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. But the Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. Well, it may seem that we are fractured. I believe that we are now stronger than ever. This is a choice that can never be undone. All right, that's the game I haven't played. I don't know if I ever will, but uh, hey, it's got that cool player base that's really building up. That's that's. What neat. the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? Come on, this isn't funny. I know you can hear me. Wasteland isn't the only open-world playground with an amazing community. 
The Elder Scrolls Online from ZeniMax Online Studio has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. Mm. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, the game will deliver a true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. I'm gonna try to play that actually. At some point. I prefer Elder Scrolls over Fallout, so that's just how I am. I've always liked the fantasy uh, era that they play in with, with the Bethesda games. Oh, that looks neat. I wonder if you can actually get flying mounts in the game. I'm a big World of Warcraft player, so I, I do enjoy uh, traversing on dragons and machines and whatnot. All about those frames, you know, give me a good MMO, 60 FPS, I'm there. They have a lot of cool different races in these games, too. Console launch exclusive. It's There's a new stuff. world with new rules. Now, nothing is off the table. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Wait. Uh. Oh, is this like a party game? What the heck is this? Kind of like Super Smash Brothers, but with little bears and stuff. <laughs> or like it, it also reminds me of Knockout City. We're not Knockout City, but the uh... oh my gosh! So. Cause that is the one thing they've been lacking is a good old like Mario Party ass Fuse and Frenzy game. Oh, Party Animals. That could be good. That could be a big hit for Xbox. Cause Knockout City is doing really well. I came out day one. Also. Oh, is this that game that won all those? Yep. They're gonna, they're dropping on on Game Pass right now. I guess. People love this game. I've Yet to see the appeal, but I'm not a big on uh, roguelike games. So. Stupid boy! I told you nobody gets out of here. Try and stop me. Okay, August 13th on Game Pass. That's that's a huge get for Xbox because that's the first time it's actually coming to the console and it's going on right into uh, Game Pass. Oh, I'm going to try it out. That's what the great thing about Game Pass is. You can just try out these games. No risk. Hey, if you don't like it, just delete it. art direction whatever this is
reminds me a lot of Inside. Is this from Play Dead Studios? Looks beautiful though. Oh my gosh, this looks really good actually. And also very sad at the same time, like running with their family. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally down for this game. What is it? Is it all a dream? Maybe not? That looks phenomenal. Alright, I got my radar on Somerville for 2022. I'll tell you that much. This holiday marks the 20th anniversary of Xbox. Let's go. And the 20th anniversary of Halo. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Halo Infinite Multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative nice. director of Halo Infinite. From helping craft the original Halo Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST, Joseph is a Halo visionary. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. Here we go, this is new engine. This new is engine, just one part of the Zeta Halo ring, the largest, most wide open environment Zeta. we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. I'm surprised they're showing our right. I thought they would have held this for the end. So what do they have saved for the end? But this looks, this looks good. The heart of Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. Hell yeah. In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet. But you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. There it is. Assault rifle. There's not much time. If you knew how you were going to die, you knew how you were going to die. How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? We're going right into gameplay here. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure?
That's cool. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. Let's talk about and multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Mm. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? All right. Yeah, they have to show the multiplayer. All right, here we go. Oh, that's Whoa. Killing spree. Double nice. kill. Hello, let's do some damage. Skewer. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Return it to base. Is that blood gulp? Ordnance drop inbound. Sweet. The flag is ours. Please call. At your earliest convenience. Now, show me what you can do. Wait, that's some cool looking armor. Ooh. How are you not going to give us a date? <laughs> are they still unsure? Oh, that's not, that's not great. They could have done a better job with the Halo portion, I think. Evil has survived. A dark figure wanders in the east. He must be stopped. At all costs. What the heck is this? Oh, is this the Diablo? This has gotta be the Diablo, right? Well, that'd be pretty big if they could say this is launching um Game Pass and stuff, right? Now. They said there was like only three announced games that aren't going to the game pass, but I think we've seen like two of them. That looks crisp. That's good. Eight player co-op, whoa. Never knew that game had that many people fighting around. This may be our darkest hour, but it will be your greatest moment. Nice. Yep, see that's that's not on Game Pass. Okay, so we're out of not on Game Pass games, so every game from this point on I think is safe to assume is going there. 
So if they show Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, is that going to be a Game Pass game? Maybe? I don't know. That's, that's too much things. of a stretch. Where do they come from? From all uh, of us. From what we do to him. Can you stop it? They make flight simulators. So well. But he's my brother. And I would die for him. Oh, is this? Oh, it's their other game. Is this a sequel? Plague's Tale, right? Yeah. Okay. Still have yet to play the first one. And it's on Game Pass, so that's neat. I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Sure, I know just the song. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, a guerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. This is how it goes. Keep talking. It's a stealth operation. I got you covered. Oh, that was fun. This is how it goes. Taking out a high value target, I have just what you need. You want to blow shit up? Juan Cortez at your service. Everyone in Yara saw that shit. What? <laughs> Wait a second. Who brought the rooster? Hey, whatever you need to get the job done, Danny. Oh, that's me. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dude. Wow, like Bubba Stat over here. You always gotta have a hang glider in Far Cry. I like how you resolve it, Juan. So do I.
Oh, it's Slime Rancher. Two. Welcome back to Shredageddon. Here's a new trick. Let's go. Nice. There's that old Xbox game called Amp. This looks a lot like that from what I remember. Oh, that looks smooth. Now this I would enjoy playing. They showed that other Ubisoft game, Riders Republic, and it looks too over the top for me, whereas this looks more like, not sin, but less over the top. That's cool. Those are nice camera angles as well. Okay, so we've probably got multiplayer. It's like surfing when they pull the people on the line. Shredders. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Holy fluttering whip. Uh -huh. That's neat. Oh, that's that's coming soon. Okay. Okay then. They didn't even have a release date though, or any kind of window, or for whatever that was. Okay. 
Oh, here we go. Xbox Game Studios. Oh, Outer Worlds. In the first year Not of Grounded. They finally released Millions yet? Millions of players kept real? busy. Out of the game preview, finally? With crafting. Fighting. The Pond. Zip lining. Flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present the Shroom and Doom update. Huh. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. Pets for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. Huh. We've also got something that literally no one was asking for. The brood mother. She's so terrifying. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. Uh. Go big. Or never go home. I always enjoy the trailers for Grounded. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. Never played a single match of this game. <laughs> Such dramatic music. I can't even read what the description of the characters are. Can't say I've ever heard of it. <laughs> but it's cool to see um, Xbox getting some Japanese RPGs on their platform. You have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions oh, to conflicted to situations. That. We wish to test your abilities. I'll be playing that day one. Yeah. Here we go, another Xbox first party. Let's see. History is all around us. Oh, what is this? Those who made it have never been forgotten. 
their daring choices oh, this is Age of Empires 4 is turning it? land into kingdoms and mortals into legends if history was in your hands what would you build Which is neat, again, they have a vast portfolio of different game genres. It's nice that they have an RTS on here. Where would you go? What would Ooh, you be remembered combat? That's really cool artwork, I'll give him that. Oh, Game Pass 4 PC. <laughs> First time I've seen that. That'd be hard to play on a console. Alright, what do they got? Oh, console exclusive, that is Xbox Game Studios. We begin by hearing an old, wise sounding voice. And we see a quiet, peaceful setting. Fable? This will make our game seem big and important. Now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? No, say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. Uh, These what? pointless slow motion shots <laughs> make everything seem cool. And should bolster pre-sale numbers. <laughs> the self-aware trailer sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. <laughs> now we see our hero. But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. <laughs> or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In <laughs> fact, the only thing they have finished is the title. Oh shoot! Wow, there you go, Obsidian's next game. Rumors are true. All right. They just finished the DLC. I'm surprised that they're already getting work done on that game. Of course, they had really nothing to show you, but a really cool CG uh, trailer. Oh, man. Are we going to see it valid? Probably too early, I guess. Forza, isn't it? Is this flight simulator? Flight simulator. This game blows my mind how they're able to pull this off. I played it on PC. It was just insane, flying over my house and all this other. And to have it on a console is just nuts. What's the date gonna be? What's the release date? Give it to us, come on. Landing on... Oh, comes out on my birthday! Woo! 
<laughs> oh, they're adding jets to the game? That's cool. Oh, cool. I like how it's free. Oh, Top Gun Maverick. Oh, wow. They're making big deals with these with these movie studios. It's got to be Forza, right? Yep. Rumors are true. Tell me what you want and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm not giving up, come on, we got nothing left to do. Question is if it's actually out this year though, because they've showed us nothing. Tell me what you want, you can get it. Until now. Oh, look at that weather. Looks good. Whoa. What? November 9th? That's crazy. Wow, okay, so we got Forza, we got Halo. Hello, I'm Mike Brown, creative director at Playground Games, and I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. And there is no better car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project One Forza Edition. Rendered in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles. I've invited along some of the team to help give you a taste of some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don from the Forza team. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations and discover places for the festival to expand. I'm on the river now. We're getting close. Cool. There you are. How's the expedition going? I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida al Smal. Look out for the flamingos! This city is still a jewel of Mayan architecture. Whoa. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. But Forza Horizon has always been a game that's best enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. Whoa. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in-game. 
<laughs> Mehdi is behind That's the wheel nuts. of the AMG Project One Ford wow, Station in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head Whoa. out for a drive. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. Oh. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. Whoa. Let's leave Maddie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. This is a recreation of Mexico that is honest, authentic, and filled with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Mm. Oh, hey, what's up? This is a mural by Mexican artist Farid Rueda. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Forza mm. Horizon 5. While Don drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera volcano. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. Mm. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Sierra in her favorite off-road buggy. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point ever in a Horizon game. And thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles, from up here we can see for miles in every direction. In the distance, we can just oh about make gosh. out Guanajuato. Let's take a closer look. Guanajuato is one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. It's a colorful, undulating city full of vibrant architecture. It even has a sprawling network of tunnels. And these twisting, turning, overlapping streets mean that as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, The Eliminator. While Don tries to win that race, the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is known for its uplifting beauty. And using our unique HDR camera rig, we captured 24-hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. And thanks to the okay. Xbox Series consoles, these photorealistic skies result in lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, making you feel like you're Wait, really this, there. Is this not an Xbox One? I feel like it can't Here's be on Matty Xbox again. One. This kind of She's detail. joined by Abraham and some other members of the team. Our players are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online, and then helps you link up and play together. <laughs> we'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. Here, we see our new volumetric lighting system filling the scene with god rays as the sunlight dapples through the dense rainforest. A Horizon Arcade minigame is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill loves minigames, so it intelligently prompts Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts, and they're seamlessly linked together with their GPS route set. Mm. With that Horizon Arcade minigame starting soon, all of our players are coming together. This minigame is called Piñata Pop, signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of piñatas. Ooh, over this way. Gotta catch up to you guys. Our yeah, players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. Okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look through the bushes here. There's some between the houses. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more over here. Sweet. While the team grab those last few pinatas, we're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. Ah. Wow. This is Event Lab. The incredible new tool set that allows you to create your own races, game modes, and gameplay experiences. What? You customize everything, right down to the fundamental rules of the game. Oh, that's so effing cool. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world we've ever built. And it will truly be an astounding showcase for the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this November 9th. Mm. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in Mexico later this year. All right, I'm definitely going to give it a shot. It looks fantastic. There Team he is. Team Xbox is on a mission to bring the joined community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, 
are at the center of everything we do. Today, we showed you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Now, through the end of the year, you can look forward to back-to-back -to -back monthly like releases landing day one on Game Pass, led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios, as well as highly anticipated games like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to Xbox. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. We unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo Infinite adding to the roster of iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and Doom. We premiered the most epic open-world racing game, Forza Horizon 5, bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction of Mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen, while the team at Turn 10 is hard at work on the next Forza Motorsport. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Xbox has been here for 20 years, and that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, one more thing. there's one more thing. What is it? Take a look at this brand new original game from the Arcane team at Bethesda. <laughs> Let's go. The studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something new for them, an open world immersive shooter <gasps> that you can play alone or with your friends. Oh. And like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Yeah! <laughs> That's something so stupid to get happy about, but like, come on, like, people have been complaining about Xbox not having games, and it's nice, nice to see them getting back to where they were years ago. Alright. I have to play the sound of two now, especially after watching them. Hey, Dove, anything interesting? Robot has a gun. <laughs> Thank you, Layla. You're the best. Oh, Jacob, don't even mention it. Robin, now or never. Oh, that's me. Where's the other one? Where'd it go? Give me a chance. Let's back. Chase this, cabrona! 
Sun's coming up. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Sure thing, Edgar Allan Bro. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. Oh, that okay. Nice. If there is wonder that place in our dreams, we can disappear into a world. Bring me that horizon. If we can imagine, we what you We can find them to the So there you have it. That was the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. And I must say, that was probably the best show that Xbox has done. Um, from the standpoint of the pacing, there wasn't a whole lot of talking. There was just a lot of games. They didn't really take the time to really talk about any kind of hardware or any kind of partnerships. It was just simply about the game. They started off with Bethesda giving us what everybody's been waiting for, a first look at Starfield. And man, oh man, that definitely looks very unique it's it's not as i you know thought it would be it's more like astronaut exploration like the way that the ship is taking off it's not as like star warsy basically as i thought it could be which is fine because there's a ton of those games out there anyway and we had uh halo infinite was shown i think that was the most disappointing part for me yeah they showed some cg 
They sh showed some multiplayer, um, but they didn't really go into detail. It looks like the same kind of multiplayer that's been in the, the Halo games for a while. And I don't know if that's going to be enough for people. I don't know if that's going to be enough for the people that play Apex Legends and you know Call of Duty and all those games that have really taken the center uh, stage. Um, there are several games that I thought would maybe get onto Game Pass. Uh, Battlefield uh, 2042 I thought would be a great addition on Game Pass as well as Far Cry. But... Hey, it is what it is. Maybe eventually it'll come to Game Pass. Well, through EA uh, Play, I'm sure that Battlefield 2042. But at a $70 price tag for a multiplayer-only experience, it could be a hard uh, pill to swallow. Um, they did a good job about talking about this year, having a lot of games coming to Game Pass this year for us to play. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 looks fantastic as a... I believe that's the first like console exclusive Xbox game from a first party studio. Um, and it really is going to show off the technology in the Series X and the S. Uh, I would have liked to see more of a roadmap for 2022. Um, to see at least like what's going on. They mentioned all the projects that they didn't show, but they didn't really like tell us like the tra trajectory of like what is coming out um, in that time. Other than you know, at least we got a date so far in advance for Starfield. Like they t they told us that date like. Over, like a year and a half away it's coming so we'll see i mean i know that things are getting better in the united states for uh the working conditions and whatnot with covid so maybe uh things will be less delayed now they did make a good partnership with uh warner brothers for back for blood so i'm very interested to see how that's going but overall this was a great paced show uh standouts for me um for Somerville, that, that indie looking game that was like with their family running around run, reminded me a lot of inside uh, the biggest reaction for me came from, you know, Sea of Thieves and having that connection with the Disney property, Pirates of the Caribbean, with uh, uh, the, the character, you know, seeing Jack Sparrow in Sea of Thieves, like, it makes so much sense, but I'm just so amazed that's coming out, like, next week already, like, what? This is insane, and I don't even know what it is, I don't even know if it's an expansion, what it is, I'll be looking at that after this video, but overall, like I said, if I were to give, give this a grade, I would say this is like a good B+. Plus. I think they really hit their mark with all these games that are coming from a vast variety of genres. New games, uh, updates on old games, Stalker 2 looked great, uh, Party Animals looks like a lot of fun. It could be like the fusion frenzy of this generation. Uh, we got a racing game, shooting game, uh, all these types of experiences. Uh, you know, we have Yakuza Like a Dragon is now in Game Pass. Psychonauts 2, that's coming out um, in August. You know, Flight Simulator is coming in, in July. So so from this moment forward, I think we're going to start seeing those, those first party publishers really coming out, like almost like on a one month basis, giving us a really solid gaming experience um, throughout the rest of this year. Um, but I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase for E3 2021? Was it everything you hoped for? I had my expectations high. I thought we would also get an Ubisoft partnership to get some of their games on Game Pass. Hey, never say never. I think that could come. But um, of course, my expectations were super high. I think. Um, they met my expectations, but they didn't exceed them. We'll put it that way. Um, so more on video games, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel where I do all the talking about Star Wars and video games and everything in pop culture in between. So that's going to do it for me, Star Wars. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.